Hello, I want a new wardrobe. <laughs> I'm sure all of you are saying, dude, don't we all? But there is a way that I'm gonna make this happen. So this is gonna be like a new series on my channel, I guess, of kind of just getting my closet to be perfect. Perfect for me, perfect for my style, perfect just in general. Currently, I would say I wear maybe like 20 to 25% of my closet. Not good, I know. I have a few plans. So, plan number one, I'm going to minimize, minimalize, both actually. I have realized that having more clothes in my closet does not mean that I'm going to wear them. Probably my biggest goal is to have a closet full of stuff that I will wear, that I will wear every single piece in my closet. Obviously, I know things can be seasonal. I'm not gonna be wearing like a jacket, a huge jacket all year. You know what I mean. I'm just talking about in general, every single piece of my closet Closet, I will wear and I will have something to pair it with and it will be great. So the first step to that kind of is to minimize my closet, take everything out. I have already taken out so, so many things. I have sold so many things on Depop. I have donated tons, actually not tons, probably like two full trash bags of clothes. Style and clothes is something that's super important to me and always has been, but I just, I've talked about this before that the way I dress and my style, this is just really personal to me. I really, I don't even know how to explain it. When I am not dressed in an outfit that I feel confident in. It makes me not feel confident and it crushes my self-esteem and then I feel bad and it's just a really weird thing and sometimes I just have a really weird relationship with clothes. So I just want to be happy in what I wear. I don't think I need a trillion million things in my closet to be happy with that. I want less clothes in my closet, more things that I will wear. That's my first step is to clean out my closet again, hopefully for like the final time. I just spit, sorry. Hopefully for like the final time, get everything listed on Depop, sell it, donate it, do whatever I need to do to get those clothes to a new home. This is what my closet currently looks like. It's a mess. I have clothes that I need to hang up and put away, but I just haven't really done it because it's just clothes that I might be donating. So I don't want to hang it up and do that when I'm just going to take it off the hanger. A few more things before I get started. I have been doing a lot of research on sustainable fashion and the fashion industry and all that stuff. Another one of my goals is to only buy from brands that have some sort of good impact on the environment. Fast fashion, like Forever 21 and brands like that are just so, so horrible for the environment and I just do not want to support that. I am not perfect. But the problem is that sustainable fashion is really, really expensive and it's really not accessible to everyone. That is why doing things like thrift shopping and going on Depop or Poshmark or whatever secondhand apps are really great for the environment because then you are not buying from companies like that who are just overall not good. You can obviously do your own research on why those types of companies are not good. Whatever clothes I do buy, I do want it to be from brands that are a little bit more ethical and sustainable. So just keep that in mind. I will obviously be sharing brands like that in future videos because today I'm not going to buy anything. I am just actually gonna start the process of cleaning everything out. Let's get started. So here is my Depop pile. My mom has been begging me to get rid of this pile of clothes and even tech accessories forever and today was finally the day for me to donate slash depop all of this to get rid of it. I honestly can say I really like shoes and I am like interested in them but I'm not the type of person to like buy a ton and a ton of shoes. I'm more like that with like shirts and pants and stuff like that. I wouldn't say I have like no okay I do, I do have a lot of shoes but like not like a disgusting amount. I don't think. So I keep my shoes in these boxes right here. I have two of them and they are overflowing. I have a few more pairs back here. Here is all of my shoes right here. Actually, I have my Balenciagas up there. Not sure to flex, but um, that is my last pair of shoes. So I'm gonna start by going through all of these and talking about them, I guess. I'm gonna make it fast because I kind of do have a lot of pairs. Pair number one, I have, don't think I have ever worn these ever. I think I got these for Christmas like two years ago for the winter and I just haven't worn them because I'm not the type to wear slippers. So um, these are getting donated. My platform Doc Martens, definitely keeping. I wear these all the time. White Doc Martens, definitely keeping. These new shoes are not something that I wear all the time, but I do wear them for like special events and stuff or just kind of when I wanna dress like a little bit fancier so I am going to be keeping these because I have worn them recently so the way I'm kind of determined the way I'm determined the way I'm determining whether I should keep these or not is like I'm trying to think about the last time that I actually wore them so for example these adidas tennis shoes are these adidas I have not worn these in literally so long because I just have other tennis shoes that I wear now so I am going to be donating or selling these my white nike technos I am definitely keeping I really think a pair of white chunky sneakers or tennis shoes is a staple. Black high top converse, I wear these all the time, especially when I'm skateboarding, so keeping these as well. These Vans, I actually just barely bought because I want another pair of just easy shoes to slip on, especially when I'm skateboarding, so keeping these as well. These green tennis shoes, I really like these, but I just never ever wear them ever. When I first bought them, I wore them a few times, but I just never wear them anymore, and I feel like someone else would much rather have them, so donating. Quick disclaimer, when I say donating, I mean donating and or Depop. It just depends on what condition the shoes are in and all that 
other stuff. These orange heels from Nasty Gal I think are so, so cool, but I just never, ever, ever wear them ever. I've had them for a while and I've never worn them before. Also, I know Nasty Gal is not the most sustainable brand. Same with these shoes. I think they are so cute, but I just never wear them. But I might keep them because I'm gonna try and start wearing them. I'm gonna give these shoes a chance, see how much I wear them. These super old and ugly tennis shoes I am gonna be keeping because when I go hiking and stuff, I wear these. Another pair of Nikes. These are really old. I think they're kind of rare and I do wear these sometimes, so I am gonna be keeping these. Nike Air Maxes. I got these in New York. I never wear them. I used to, but they are just not really my style anymore. Adidas Superstars. These used to be my go-to white sneakers and now they are just not anymore, so I am gonna be donating these. These high top bands, same thing. Used to be my go-to white sneakers and now they're just not anymore. Pastel Pink Converse. I want to start wearing these more because I think they are so cute. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep these. I have not worn them in a while, but I'm gonna try and start wearing them more. These Butterfly Air Force Ones. I think they're cute they're just not really my style so i'm gonna be donating these black and white polka dot heels i don't really wear these that much but i think it's nice to have a pair of like black fancier dress up shoes so i think i am gonna keep these these pink gingham shoes i do wear them and i think they're cute love them gonna wear them more same with these pink nike technos i think they're super cute these shoes from asos i didn't even know that i had these probably will never ever wear them again don't even remember the last time i wore them same with these shoes they're kind of similar to the pink uh, nude heels that I saved. So I am gonna donate these. Slip on white shoes. I never really wear these. Slip on black shoes. Never wear these. These white heels, I do think are cute and I just haven't worn them because it's been winter. So now that it's spring, I'm actually gonna wear them. These C Madden heels I got when I went to my sister's wedding. I don't think I've worn them since. So those are my shoes. I'm gonna put the ones that I'm saving back in these baskets. Walk, keep on walking straight. Straight to the hell we made. It's been a few hours since I started filming this video. I needed my camera to charge for a little bit. Now I've started listing things on Depop. The next thing I'm gonna do is obviously continue listing things on Depop. I have two different bins. I'm gonna sort them into a donate pile and a Depop pile because not everything sells on Depop. So I don't wanna waste my time posting it if I am positive it's not gonna sell. I'm listing all my things for very inexpensive because this honestly is not about actually getting money even though this is a great way to make money like I said, but it's just making sure that my clothes actually go to a new home because even if I do donate them and they go to a thrift store. Say they don't sell at the thrift store, then it goes around to a few other distribution places. And then after that, it just ends up in a landfill if no one buys it. I'm definitely trying to be mindful of donating my things because some people actually do need these things that I was fortunate enough to have and buy. But yeah, so, oh, you can't see them. I have my bins back. Sorry, I was watching 90 Day Fiance. For some reason, whenever my phone rings now and it goes through my computer, it will play whatever I was on. So if I'm like paused on a YouTube video, it will like play that. Or if I'm watching Hulu or something, it will play. I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna sort these huge piles of stuff that I have into these bins. Baby, my teeth look good as my design merch. When it comes to actually depopping my stuff, here's how I do it. I literally set my phone up right here and just do self timer photos. It's really not that hard. I also make sure that it's always on square because depop photos are squared. There you go, it's that simple. So I'm gonna be taking a photo in this shirt. The shirt is really cute, but it's a little small for me. So I feel like it would be better for someone that's a little bit smaller than me. Make it will be the hardest thing to lose out on so another update i'm on my vlog camera now just because it's easier to you know this is the dent i've made in my clothes it really doesn't look like that much this is my donation bin i have just like some nicer pair of jeans some regular like long sleeve nice shirts i also have just some shoes some workout clothes that you can't really see and then this is my depop bin so everything i've listed on depop is in here and then i also have some packages over there i'll send these out tomorrow just need all of this to sell and then i'm going to take this to the donation place tomorrow but i think that's all for today i think that's all for today until i see you guys tomorrow because i have literally been listing stuff on depop all day. I was actually planning on like cleaning out my closet today, but I just never even got around to it. I cleaned out my shoes and that was basically it. The rest of the day, I've just been listing stuff on Depop. Listing stuff on Depop is so much more work than people actually think. This is what my closet currently looks like. It literally looks the exact same besides now over here, all of my shoes are just clean. Some of this is actually clean laundry that I need to hang up. So I'll see you guys tomorrow when I'm actually shipping all the stuff out and I actually go to donate this stuff. Hi. Update.
update. It's the next day and I have done so much. This is the original pile of clothes that I had. It was literally stacked so high all over the place. I've got it down to that much. This is all the stuff that I have listed on Depop. Um, there's a ton of stuff in here. You can't really see it, but all of this is for sale on my Depop right now. Then out here, the sliding is horrible, but this is everything that I have decided to donate. I also have this whole Okay, I also have this whole bag full of packages to send out. I'm going to send that out soon I'm just waiting to see if anyone else will buy this stuff and then I'm gonna list all that Sorry, my room is a mess. The rest of my plans for this video is finish that pile make it gone Donate it list it whatever I need to do and then oh my gosh shut up And then I'm going to ship all that stuff out take that stuff to the donation center And then that's part one of my video you guys or that's part one of the series You guys have no idea how long this pile of clothes has been sitting in my room literally for months and months so so I am so happy that it's finally going away. My nose is running. Little update, this is my last update before I actually go and ship things out. I started with so many of these, just like manila envelopes to send clothes in, and now I'm on my last one. Literally never thought the day would come that I actually use all these. I have so many packages. Thank you to everyone who bought something. This is truly such an amazing way to shop because it's so much better for the environment. After I package this last one, I... I'm gonna go to the post office and ship everything out. Just because I have shipped a ton of stuff though does not mean that I am out of things to put on Depop, if that makes sense. I'm sure by the time you guys are watching this, I still have a ton of- oh hi. I'm sure I still will have a ton of things, so make sure to go check. Once again, thanks to everyone who bought something. I'll show you guys all the packages that I have because I have never ever shipped out this many. So I am editing right now and for some reason I never showed um, all of the packages together, but this white bag that I showed you guys earlier was completely full. Like, I could not have put another, like, a single other package in there because there was just so many. So, yeah. I tape my tripod down and it's not sticking because my car is so hot. It is that time. I'm going now to the post office. Sorry if you can hear the air. It's 92 degrees outside. I'll do a little live video. Donation stuff, my Depop orders. This bag is so big and it's literally full. <laughs> there you go. Hi, maybe. I just dropped off all of my packages and stuff and I really decided to go donate all my stuff. I look naked, I'm not. It's literally the worst time because it's 4.30 so it's rush hour because everyone is going home from work and now I'm stuck in traffic, but it's fine because I'm going to go donate all my stuff. It is doing A-OK -okay back there. Depending if I should get a burrito after this. I really want one, but I'm trying to eat healthy and I also don't really feel that good. And I know no one cares, so I don't even know why I'm telling you this. Okay, I'm back home. I just got rid of all of my clothes. I am so glad I've been waiting to get rid of that big pile of clothes for so long. So this is basically the end of this video. Let's reassess my goals. My first goal was to get rid of that big pile. Mm, okay, pass, did that. My second goal was to clean up my closet, which I failed. Um, And that was basically it. I got one for two, okay? My third goal is to get a burrito and I did obtain a burrito. So I'm gonna go eat this. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video and wanna see more like this, I am planning on turning this into some sort of series or make another video like this. So, um, thanks for watching. Thank you to everyone who bought my clothes. I really appreciate it. Peace out. Sorry the sliding is freaking awful and I also look ugly because I didn't get ready today. Bye. Mwah. Oh,